I think we all deserve a little pampering. Hello there, you guys. Welcome back to my channel. And if you're new, welcome. My name is Fernanda. And this week I was thinking of video ideas of, that could really help you guys. I was thinking, what do you guys need? And then that got me thinking, well, what do I really need right now? And the truth is that something I'm really craving is some me time. Since this whole thing being safe at home started, I haven't really carved out any time for myself for me to just be with me and take care of myself. While I've been doing really good at taking care of myself on a day-to-day -day basis, I haven't really gone the extra mile to pamper myself. And I was thinking, what do I find more relaxing than anything else in the world? And it's getting a good facial. I love going to the spa, not just because I love the treatment of it, but because it's the time that I really just set aside my phone, everybody knows that I'm not gonna be available, and I just take my time and just like really indulge in the moment. And I was thinking, can I recreate the experience of getting a good facial at home? And it's pretty easy, we can. So in this video, I'm just gonna walk you step by step through giving yourself a very good facial. And if you're safe at home and you already have a drawer full of skincare at the ready, great, you can use that. But if you don't, I also got you because I'm going to show you how to make three different face masks, which by the way, new meaning of that word right now, let's call them facial masks. I'm going to show you how to make three different facial masks with things that you probably already have in your kitchen. Well, it got dark, which is the perfect time to do this ritual, by the way. If you do do it at night, just make sure that you go to bed in a clean pillowcase after so that you can really absorb the nutrients of your facial. And a quick note about DIY facial masks. I love natural ingredients and a lot of the time I love them more than stuff that I can buy on the counter. But whenever you mix up something in your kitchen, you just wanna make sure that you do a little patch test before you apply it all over your face. You never know when you're gonna react negatively to an enzyme in a fruit or if you're allergic to cinnamon or something like that. So just do a little patch test before you apply it all over your face, leave it for 10 minutes, rinse it off, and if a couple of hours later it's still good, you're good to use it. So carve out 35 or 45 minutes to yourself, grab some tea, some wine if that's what you're into, light some candles, and let's get started. For our facial, we are going to follow the traditional structure of a facial appointment with some light modifications. Therefore, it's super important that we start by washing our hands before we touch our faces. This last part is super important always, but especially now. I'm going to begin by pulling my hair away from my face. And I have this special terry cloth band that will prevent my hairline from getting wet after rinsing over and over again. But this is not a necessary thing. You can just do without. Before we begin, we're gonna remove our makeup completely. This will allow the benefits of the masks to really seep into our skin. The other thing we'll do is take a good look at our skin up close. Is it dry? Is it sensitive? Is it acting up? This will help you determine what masks to use. And if you're gonna multi-mask, this is where you decide what mask to put where. Step one is cleansing our skin. Cleanse your skin with a gentle cleanser as you normally would. This step is super important since it helps our skin absorb the nutrients we give it, but we also are removing all the leftover bacteria that's in our skin. Once the skin is clean, the esthetician typically opens up our pores with steam. You can do this in the shower, obviously, but the way I find it easiest is by soaking a clean washcloth with warm water, careful that it's not too hot, and placing it over your skin for about three minutes. This will help open up your pores, both to let impurities out and to let nutrients in. And obviously you can sit down during this process. You don't have to awkwardly make sure that the camera captures it for YouTube. Just relax during it. Next, we will exfoliate our skin. If you have an exfoliating product that you like at home, then just go for it. Just don't skip this step. For exfoliating mask, we will need half a banana, mashed. This is both for consistency and it has a slight exfoliating agent in it. 
and a quarter cup of ground oats, which you can chop up easily in the blender and it's also a slight exfoliant. Important to note, in this case we are making a chemically exfoliating mask as opposed to a mechanical exfoliating mask, aka a scrub. Even though this is a chunky texture, do not rub this onto your skin. Depending on how fine your oatmeal is ground, the chunks can have sharp edges and slightly scratch at your skin. Instead, we are letting all those acids in the fruit and the oats do the job on our skin and exfoliate it gently. Leave this mask on for about 10 minutes and then thoroughly rinse. Next on a facial would come extractions, but honestly, I don't recommend that you do this to yourself ever. If you do it wrong, you can leave a serious scar on your face, so just skip it. Next is my favorite step in the whole process, which is the facial massage. You'll need a plant-based oil, olive oil works great, in this case I am using jojoba oil, and spread it all over your face, neck, and decollete. And if you have a roller already, I'll link you to the lymphatic drainage video I made a couple of weeks ago in the cards. But if you don't, there are thousands of videos online that are showing you how to do this. In this case, I followed a video that I found on YouTube, which was great. And in this part, I'm actually telling you that it feels really good. If you can get somebody else to do this, this is great. But if not, you can do it to yourself. And it's honestly so relaxing. I hold a lot of tension in my face and this is how I get it all out. And now we are ready to apply our facial mask. I'm gonna show you how to make two depending on what your skin needs. First, a turmeric mask if you have acne prone skin or dark spots from previous blemishes. You'll need one teaspoon of turmeric, which is a great antioxidant and anti-inflammatory and brings down redness as well. One tablespoon of Greek yogurt or plain yogurt. This contains lactic acid, which helps dissolve dead skin and gently exfoliates. And lastly, one teaspoon of honey. Honey is a great moisturizer. It's antifungal and a great binding agent for your masks. Mix it all well until it's a uniform consistency. I'm using an old makeup brush to apply the face mask and this is honestly a great hack. This will help you control exactly where the mask goes and apply it much easier. Once it's on, allow it to dry between 10 and 15 minutes. You'll visibly see it dry in your face and then rinse off completely. And if your skin is a little yellow from the turmeric afterwards, fear not, just use some of the plant-based oil that you use for the massage, spread it all over your face, and then cleanse with a wet, warm washcloth. It'll come right off. And for those of you who are in need of a little moisture, I got an avocado honey mask. You'll need about a quarter cup of a fresh avocado and one tablespoon of raw honey. Both of these elements are intensely hydrating, but the honey helps give the mask nice texture and help it stick to your face. Mix it all up together until it's a uniform consistency. And this one will be a little chunky, but it's fine as it is. Apply it wherever you need it and leave it between 10 to 15 minutes. I used this mask recently and it honestly felt so good afterwards. I highly recommend it. It's one of my favorites. To remove it, you can rinse it in the sink as normal, or honestly, you can use the wet washcloth that you used for your steam and just bring it all down that way. Dry your face with a clean washcloth or towel. And then we are almost done. We're just ready for the finishing touches. 
super important that you seal and protect all the nutrients that you just gave your skin. We're gonna do some moisturizer, making sure that we get our necks and our faces, some eye cream, always essential, never skip the step, lip balm, and if it's daytime, some sunscreen. And we're good to go. All right, you guys, so that is going to be it for this video, and I hope you've enjoyed pampering yourself for at least a little bit of time. I'm sure this is great if we can get our partners or our spouses to do the massage for us, but if not, this will do for the time being. And if you did enjoy this video, please give it a big thumbs up, and let me know in the comments below what videos you would like to see next. I am here every single Thursday at 11 a.m. And before you leave, please don't forget to subscribe. There is a button over here that you can click. And don't forget to ring that bell if you want to be notified every time I post new videos. Take care of yourselves. I'll see you soon.